All right, hello guys. In this video, we're gonna be talking about when to expect your first freeze this fall and into winter for 2019 fall and winter seasons. Now, before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now, first things first, we're gonna be looking at our first freeze here and when to expect that. The first thing I wanted to mention is that your freeze is defined by your first time where your low temperature reaches 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So basically when you go below freezing for the first time, that is considered your first freeze. And we're looking at the average. I have a new style of presenting these maps to you guys that I'm gonna be you trying out this time. And I want you guys to let me know how you feel about it. I'm gonna be showing you guys one layer at a time so that it's easier for you to see what I'm talking about. As you can see on the map right now, we can see the late August areas, the areas that are expecting their first freeze in the later half of August. You can see there's some mountainous regions in Oregon, mountainous regions of Idaho, some of those northern Rockies, southern Rockies, so some areas in Wyoming, Colorado, Montana, and Utah. All of these white regions were expecting our first freeze to arrive in the early or the later portion of August. Now you can see underneath I've added the layer of early September. I wanted to mention there is a few dots here and there's one in you can see northeastern Montana, northeastern Minnesota, and then northern Maine. These are areas that are very isolated that we expect our first freeze to arrive in early September. Now, also a lot of central Oregon gets filled out with the early September. A lot of you are expecting early September to be when your first freeze arrives, as well as some of those mountainous regions in California as well, northeastern Nevada, northern Utah, some of those nice ski areas up there, uh, a lot of areas in the southern Rockies, as well as the northern Rockies, a lot of areas in Montana and Wyoming having their first freeze arrive in early September on average. Now we're going to add the late September regions here you can see in the dark pink these are the areas where we're expecting our first freeze to arrive after the 15th of september and before october so a lot of those regions those mountainous regions in washington showing up here a lot more of the mountainous regions of california most of nevada actually some mountainous regions in utah arizona new mexico and a lot of uh, a lot more of colorado is showing up here all of Wyoming, all of Montana, almost all of North Dakota, and then some of those western regions in South Dakota and ne Nebraska, northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, some areas of Michigan, and then you can see a lot of that interior New England area. Also, we're expecting late September to be your arrival time of your first freeze. Now, Adding the early October region, you can see most of the west is filled out by this point. We have a very tight gradient there you know, before the the Pacific Ocean, it's going to be very, it's, a, it's an interesting climate out there, and it's very, very tight area, and the climate changes very fast from west to east just because we have that warm ocean air coming on shore, and then that very, very sharp increase in elevation. So it is going to be kind of difficult to see your area and what color you are in for that west coast of the United States, unfortunately, and I do apologize for that, but that's just the way it is. Now, most of Washington by this point is filled out. Most of Utah is filled out. You can see a lot of those mountainous regions in Arizona and New Mexico are also filled out with the early October region. All of Wyoming, all of Nebraska, all of Iowa, and most of those Great Lakes states. So Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio. These areas are all in the early October region. We're all expecting to see our first freeze by early October. So between October 1st and 15th, as well as this interior region of the northeastern United States from West Virginia up all the way through Pennsylvania and into New England and upstate New York. Most of these regions, again, we're expecting our first freeze by early October. Now, in this dark blue region, we're expecting our first freeze by late October. So a lot of these regions in Arizona and New Mexico have filled out by this point. We're adding uh, northern Texas, northern Oklahoma, southern Kansas, all of Missouri, southern Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee are all in this region, as well as the northern Gulf states like Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia. We're all except expecting our first freeze by late October, and then that extends really into a lot of the mid-Atlantic 
states, especially interior. You can see some of those southeast regions still haven't filled out, but we're going to add our next one. Early November, most of the west coast is filled out north of uh, California by this point. Texas, you're halfway, you're halfway there, just north of Dallas. We expect our first freeze by early November. Northern Louisiana as well, and a lot of those Gulf states are finally filled out, and most of South Carolina and all of North Carolina as well as southeastern Virginia are expecting their first freeze by early November. We have one more shade here. This is your final one. November 15th or later, we expect our freeze for these light green areas. Most of Texas, a lot of Louisiana, a lot of those southern Gulf states and coastal regions of the Gulf states and some areas in coastal California. If you're outside of this area and you don't have a color, you don't expect to ever reach a freeze, or at least on average, you don't. It is possible, but on average, you do not actually go below 32 degrees Fahrenheit at any point. So now we're going to go ahead and move on. I wanted to show you guys, we're going to start talking about comparative to normal when you can expect it, but I wanted to show you guys, we are expecting warmer than normal conditions for the Western United States during this, you know, from September or actually, this is from October all the way through December. We're expecting warmer conditions from the four corner states into Nevada, into California, into Oregon, into Washington, into Idaho, all those northern Rockies. We're expecting warmer than normal conditions, and that's important when forecasting this type of stuff. Also, in the eastern United States, we're expecting below average temperatures from October through December. From the Great Lakes and Gulf states eastward, we're ex all expecting to be below average besides Florida and some coastal regions, but with the exceptions of a few isolated regions, we are expected to stay below average conditions for a lot of these regions throughout the later fall season this year. Now, we are going to move on to my forecast comparative to normal. So I, the first one I'm going to add here is your later than normal region. Obviously, I, from the map that I just showed you, saw that you are going to be above normal temperatures and this will lead to it being a little bit later than typically expected. Now I'm not going to be able to redraw the whole map and show you guys when to actually expect it. You're going to have to find your region on that first map and then see if you're expected to be later than normal or earlier than normal or normal and then you can kind of figure it out from there. It is a lot of it would take you know days and days to make these maps if I did it that way manually drawing it once again. But you can expect in the later than normal region to have it arrive a week or two later, most likely, in these orange regions from Washington down through Oregon, California, Nevada, Idaho, southern Wyoming, most of western Colorado, all of Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico. All of these regions, again, one to two weeks late with your first freeze. Now, your second area I'm adding to this map is sooner than normal. So again, one to two weeks earlier for all these regions is what you could expect. So from the Dakotas, eastward into Minnesota, into some of those Great Lakes states like Wisconsin, Michigan, uh, as well as Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio. Some of those northern Gulf states like Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and then as well as into the mid-Atlantic region, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, D.C., Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and then upstate New York and New York State and City and Long Island, and then all of New England. We're all expecting one to two weeks earlier than expected with your first freeze. Now, I am making a lot of videos themed like this. I wanted to mention some of the future ones that I'm going to be making that you guys can look forward to. I'm going to be making one of these that's very similar to this, except for snowfall. So when do you expect your first snowfall? And I'm going to do the same map, the same type of format. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that one if you did enjoy this video. And also, I made the NAO video. I'm going to go ahead and make it more educational. Eventually, I'm going to make a more educational video, a more solid just overview of what the NAO is and what effects it has. And then I'm going to do one for the AO, MJO, uh, the ENSO, PDO, all the oscillations. I'm going to go through them and kind of make a whole series on that. I feel like a lot of people don't understand what they mean, what they do, that type of thing. So I'm going to go through and basically do all the oscillations. And I mean, I'm going to study them so thoroughly, I will probably learn more about them than I knew before. And I hope that you guys will learn more than you knew as well, so that we can all use this to learn together. Uh, and I feel like there's no source on the internet, or at least through video, a lot of people learn better through hearing somebody talk about it. But 
on YouTube, there is no solid series on just every oscillation and giving a thorough overview of what effects that can have during different seasons and what it can do to the United States especially. Anyway guys, I hope you guys are looking forward to that and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.